Morning, Ralph. It's your weatherman, Jamie here, and the weather for the day. The high is 81, the low is 56. Have a great day, Ralph. Good morning, Ram. It's your woman with your nature here. But today, I'll be on forming the life cycle of a plant. To begin with, there are five things of a plant life cycle. The seed germination, growth, reproduction, pollution, and seed spreading stages. Step one, seed sunflower seeds have black and white stripes. Step two, germination about three days right after planting, the seeds will be germinated. Step three, seeding after about a week, the shoot will appear above the soil. Step four, the young plant as the seeding grows, buds will form. Step five, adult plant, the sunflower reaches adulthood and the flower blooms. All in all, plants are living life. They grow and reproduce like either other living. Have a great day, Ram. Time is short. What is your life? It's even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. If I told, if someone had told me when I was 20 years old that life was very short and would pass just like that, I wouldn't have believed it. And if I tell you that, you don't believe it either. I cannot get young people to understand how brief life is, how quickly it passes. It seems like yesterday I was in school. Every one of us here has been given the same amount of time in a day. 1,440 minutes a day, 168 hours per week. 70 years God allows us. And it's interesting to me with all of our medical science, we've never passed that magic mark. The average American male today lives 70 years and four months. The average female, 73 years and six months. More people live to be 70, but the average age of an American is still 70 as taught in the scriptures. What a thing it is when you think that you have just one short life to spend and it'll soon be over. I'd write down my priorities in life. And I'd get committed to certain priorities. Now is the accepted time. The things we ought to do, the classes we ought to take, the books we ought to read. Do it now. The family that needs you, spend more time now. Write that letter home now that you've been meaning to write. Money you ought to give, give now. Time for study, do it now. People you ought to witness to, do it now. Every time the clock ticks, it seems to say now, today if you will hear his voice. There may not be a tomorrow for you. Good morning, Rams. It's Heaven here, and as you didn't know already, this week marks our National Red Ribbon Week. So today I'll be informing you what Red Ribbon Week is. To start, Red Ribbon Week is a week that we celebrate to pledge that we will stay drug free. Red Ribbon Week is important because it's a reminder to all students that drugs aren't cool nor is it safe. Have a great day, Rams. Good morning, Rams. This just here today marks National Navy Day. National Navy Day salutes all the military personnel who have served both past and present in the United States Navy. The United States Navy is the Naval Warfare Service branch of the United States Armed Forces. The U.S. Navy currently stands as the largest, the most powerful Navy in the world with the highest combined battle fleet tonnage. Altogether, this day is to recognize naval service members and their dedication to their country. Have a great day, Rams. Good morning, Rams. It's Sportsman Joseph, and today I'll be informing you on what asthma is. To start, asthma is a condition in which a person's airways become inflated, narrow, and swell, and produce extra mucus, which makes it difficult to breathe. Asthma can be minor or it can be interfered with their daily activities. In some cases, it may lead to a life-threatening attack. Asthma can usually be managed with a rescue inhaler to treat symptoms and control inhalers that prevent symptoms. Common triggers for asthma include indoor allergens such as dust mites, mold, and pet dandruff or fur. Overall, asthma is a chronic large-term condition that affects the airways and the lungs. Have a great day, Rams. One way to have fun with words is to have a word of the day. Good morning, Rams. It's Jamie here, and your word of the day is brilliant. By starters, brilliant is a person, idea, or performance is extremely clever or skillful. People who are brilliant have a great sense of future-focused decision-making. To become brilliant, you would need to increase your studies. 
You can increase this by studying with friends, watching informational videos, or by purchasing a dictionary. Have a great day, Rams. Good morning, Rams. It's Kaden today with the morning announcements. The 23rd through the 27th will be Red River Week. The 28th is the Fall Festival, and the 30th, all winter sports will begin. Have a great day, Rams.